everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Tax Collector. Remote's in my pocket. Sorry about that. Um, so, it's about a tax collector for like a gang in LA. So, this guy and maybe his partner go out and they try and collect taxes from, I guess, different businesses. I don't know that much yet. Um, but, kind of neat. But then, the uh, evidently, the tax collector's family gets threatened for some reason or another and so um, you know things gotta change. The cool thing is it has Shia LaBeouf in it which is kinda cool and uh, George Lopez. The thing that's not great about it 4.7 on IMDB 833 people have viewed it or rated it already so that's not that great 4.7 so I don't know could be really really bad but I'm gonna watch it I mean Shia LaBeouf who has done some fantastic acting as much as people, you know, criticize the guy for whatever, I mean, he, I mean, the peanut butter, the peanut butter falcon was phenomenal. If you haven't seen that, check that out. Um, you know, and there's and that other movie, I forget the movie about himself. Another great movie with him in it. So, I like him. Can't wait to see him in this. Maybe it's not great. Maybe it is. Who knows? I will get to it. Figure out what it's about and give you a better idea and see if it's worth watching. So stick around. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hey everybody, uh, we're at the credits of the tax collector. Sorry, no check-ins tonight. I don't know. I'm just sorry. Um, I could do it all here at the end here. So basically, um, David, who is our main character, and Creeper, who is Shia LaBeouf, um, they're like the tax. Well, he's the tax collector. Uh, Bobby Soto is the actual actor's name but he his character name is David and he's um, the tax collector whereas Creeper and Shia LaBeouf whatever is the muscle essentially but it's the two of them that go around and every gang in LA has to give them like 30 percent of their earnings um, it's set up that way and it seems like um, I, what I what I piece together what I'm pretty sure of now that I've seen the whole movie is it's it's um, David's father, who's in prison, is basically the kingpin of all the gangs, in a sense. And um, George Lopez is playing David's uncle, so I'm assuming his brother. And he kind of runs things from the outside for them. And really, it's just all about that and collecting debts. And he has a family, he has a wife and two kids and a beautiful home and, you know, very religious and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, and then his niece is having her quinceanera. Um, so, you know, it's just a lot of family stuff, but yet then he leaves that and goes into out uh, collecting. Um, and just, you know, making sure they get their money's worth. And, you know, it's, it's all about that and nothing major goes on. And then he goes to collect at one house and a new guy comes in. Uh, like, he's like, okay, he no longer is going to pay you. He's going to start paying me. But there's not a lot of development on who this guy is. Uh, I don't quite understand um, you know, like, okay, so now this is the guy, so so he's got to go back to his uncle and say, hey, this guy is taking our money, and it kind of starts a little bit of a war, and of course, the new guy is is pretty crazy, you know, and, uh, and that's how his family becomes threatened, um, and so now it's him against them, that kind of thing. Um, so it's interesting, uh, again, not a lot of development, I think, enough on the new boss that comes in, um, you know, from from when we meet him going forward, yes, he becomes very scary, but, like, what's his backstory? How does he get involved? I don't know. Um, so, there's that piece of it. There's, um, you know, but but there's a lot of good to the movie. There, it gets very gruesome, so, you know, so, um, it doesn't start off that way. It's, you know, you know, regular shootings, not, not nothing bad, but then it gets into, you know, a little bit more gruesome. I'll just leave it at that. There's actually a slow motion um, gun battle at one point. That's kind of neat. Kind of the other guys, if you've ever seen that, when they're in the in the bar, kind of reminded me of that. But this was a gun battle. Um, but there's a lot of holes, of course, um, or whatever. I mean, like you think about things. You know, how do they run around the city and just kill a bunch of people and never get caught, kind of thing. Um, you know, and and that kind of stuff. So. Um, one other piece that I wanted to think about, but I forgot it. It's about lack of development, um, relationship-wise. I don't know. Um, but that's really it. That's that's the whole thing. 
Um, very basic, it's not very in-depth, I guess is what you can say, so there's not a lot of, you know, a lot of character development. It's just you got to take it on face value and go with it. Um, but I thought there was one other thing. But I can tell you this, it's not a four, definitely not a th four. I'd probably say it's on the other half of five. Would I call it a six? Probably not, but we got to go with whole numbers here. I'd be, you know, 5.5-ish and, and roll it up to a six for us on this one. Um, you know, like I said, I thought it was it was interesting, and I like Shia LaBeouf and, and his character in this. I thought he played a good role in it, kind of kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, I think maybe the only thing was the, the lack of development of who the, the ultimate villain was in the end. Oh, here's the, now I remember the other piece of it, sorry. There is another piece of this, so they're in L.A., and of course there's the Bloods and the Crips. And there is a scene where he helps out one blood, right? He delivers them back to them, and, um, you know, which is great. It's a nice gesture. But the way they make it kind of seen then is like he's, like, they're in debt to him for life. Like, there's a relationship that's built between our, our main character, David, and the Bloods, and mainly the main, the main guy in the Bloods, that we don't get to see. We see a piece of it, but it's not enough for the outcome, if you know what I'm saying. So, you know, I like it. I like what they did there. I don't know how realistic all that kind of stuff is, of, you know, them, you know, being friends in a sense or whatever. But, you know, they, they don't develop it enough on screen for me to make it believable. But yet, yeah, it's a major portion of the movie, you know, when, when all said and done. So, if you've seen it, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe you don't believe me or not, or you don't agree with me, I should say, whether you believe me or not. But, um, you know, so that's the, that's what I'm talking about. Mostly, it's a surface movie, not a lot of development. Action, um, decent plot, I guess, but not told well enough. You know, they, you know, they, gotta, they either got to cut some things out, because I think that the runtime was like an hour and 35 minutes, and that's fine. Um, but they've got to develop other pieces of it for you to really enjoy. Now, again, I'm 5.5. I'd say, to get it to a six, I think, I don't know, definitely not a four, so, I don't know, it's in that range, you got it, um, but that's it, so if you like, you know, cartel type movies, or gang movies, and, uh, you know, that kind of thing, I think, uh, you, you might like this one, I was trying to think, I just thought of another movie that, that it kind of reminded me of, but, I forget, I forget, anyway, so check it out, if you like those kinds of things, and, and drop me a line, let me know what you think, love to hear your thoughts, um, I'll watch anything with Shia LaBeouf in it now, so. So if you're like me, you're going to watch it anyway. But now you have a little bit more of a runway to know what it's going to be about. But alright, I'm now rambling because I have nobody else to hang out with. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me this whole time. If you haven't already and you want to hang out again in the future, subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. Um, if you like hitting the like button, I like likes. Um, <laughs> and uh, tell all your friends, of course, and continue to come back here to Kimmel's Irish Pub.